Hey, what's up? This is Jeff for Beard Brand, and I'm going to tell you my top 10 reasons for not having a beard. Number 10. Having a beard is not the only tool in the toolbox for looking the way you want to look. Uh, if you only have a hammer, every problem starts to look like a nail. I don't believe there is one thing that does everything. So I like to change it up and change the beard style or maybe even get rid of it. Number nine, military, religious, or work regulations. A work environment can actually ask you to groom a specific way or look a certain way uh, for whatever reasons they have, and they are allowed to do that. Number eight, not wanting to follow a trend. Uh, face it, guys, beards are trending, um, and that's a good thing. But not everybody wants to follow a trend, and some people will actually fight that. A lot of people will do the opposite of that just to set themselves apart. Number seven, not wanting to be identified as bearded. A lot of people don't want to be known as a bearded person or for their beard. Uh, so for instance, when somebody quickly sees only you for your beard, or they say that guy with the beard over there, they may not actually like that. Um, they may want something more like, oh, that guy with a blue shirt on and have something else more important or noticed first about themselves. Number six, people find it uncomfortable. There are people in places that still find beards uncomfortable and they don't like them. They don't like the person because of them. And that's just the way it is. Uh, you could actually call it very similar to tattoos. People just feel a certain way about them. So number five, it doesn't fit with your personal style. As bearded men are usually taken as aggressive and dominant, clean-shaven people are considered more sociable and more agreeable. Uh, someone may really be more interested in looking for the clean-shaven and portraying that side of them. Number four, it doesn't fit with your current style. Beards definitely have an image and it definitely has a style. Uh, same with certain haircuts. Uh, you may just be comfortable looking for a specific look and the beard doesn't suit that and that's totally cool then you're evolving your style and you're growing and that's great uh some you maybe just want to change up your beard style altogether from clean shaven to mustache to goatee to whatever it is and that's cool you're evolving and that's good number three either you or your partner don't actually think that the beard suits you or that you don't actually like how beards look um, now beards have a connotation with more masculine appearance and according to the Royal Society, more masculine appearance does not actually create more attraction in the opposite sex. They may actually find you to be better looking clean shaven and that's the end of that. Number two, not willing to put in the effort. Face it, beards are a lot of work and they take time and you can spend a lot of time priming and fixing and cutting and grooming and oiling and washing. You may just not want to deal with that and it would be that simple. My number one reason for not having a beard is genetics. There are a lot of things about your genetics that could influence your decision on having a beard or not. Uh, one, say if you're obviously baby faced and you can't grow one, uh, therefore, you might as well embrace that and kind of shave off the peach fuzz or how, whatever you guys do. Um, if you have a patchy beard, uh, you may not want to be growing that patchiness long. You may be wanting to cut that very short and making it look like you can grow a beard, but you're not. That may be more complimentary to you. You may not be old enough to grow a beard yet and maybe you will be able to one day, but right now you're just not old enough to be able to. Um, in time, uh, you will be able to. So that's it guys, I hope that was helpful for you. And like this video and subscribe to Beard Brand and Urban Beardsman. And I hope you guys have a good one. Until next time, peace.